So the first thing I do is I go to YouTube, try to find out how to get in, son of a bitch. <laughs> Couldn't find out how to get in to a canoe with a cockpit this size here, 27 inches. You can't just hop in it now. If you go to the village experts, they just kind of flop into a barco lounger looking thing on their canoes. We don't have that here. So what I've done is I've improvised a lake for a pool just so I could learn how to get into it. And that is my sole purpose for this little video is so that I can show you guys how to get into your canoe. I'm probably going to fall over a couple times because I haven't been doing it that much. But for a 49 year old cancer patient with 83 rounds of chemo, watch me work. So the other night when we were trying this, we had a couple guys get on the first time, but most of us went off a few times before we could actually get into it. So you might have a little lap or two watching me. But I will get into this little bitty kayak cockpit right here. Point the kayak. This is uh, to simulate an area where the water drops off too deep for you to actually get into the kayak on the, on the floor of the river or lake or whatever. So here I go. You ready, kids? Yeah. Hold on. All right. Get out there far enough to where you're about knee deep. Whoop, whoop. Maybe a little less. And here we go. I got my fat ass in there, didn't I? First try. Now. Wait, do that again? As far as paddling. Can I get a camera over here? As far as paddling, I think we're going to have to take it out on the lake to do that. But I really believe that if you find a friend with a little pool, learn how to get in there and learn how to balance. Because climbing up on the ass of this thing is where I had most of my problem, sneaking up. Once I got on the top and got my feet in there, it was a little bit easier, but I still lost it a couple times doing that. So, if, uh, if all those videos you're watching of those guys with them big cockpits where they just put their feet in there, do you have a cockpit like this? This is a good starting area for you. Now give me a paddle. Could you bring me the paddle, Hannah? I cut it. Sheep stack. They never listen. Okay, and yeah, that's a, that's another issue is to get into your kayak with your uh, paddle within reach. Now, I did go to the lake yesterday and got into this canoe, kind of the same way I just showed you, but. Uh, I laid the canoe next to uh, the paddle next to the canoe, and it, it didn't float away. So I think that unless you're on a river and you can't find a decent spot to get in, and you have to do it like I just did it, be careful with your canoe. But I want to try to figure that out. We'll take a trip, you guys and me. Next time I go to the lake, I'll come back with some footage and show you what a badass I am on this canoe. Now, finally, getting out of the canoe. Or, so I say, what would happen if you flip your canoe and have to get out? Now, this one doesn't have the skirt on it, so it's not really safe to take in the lake. But skirts are like 70 bucks, and I don't have that kind of money. Here, Jeff. Right where I wanted. So, I'm going to make like I hit a rock and fell over without a skirt. So you guys know that it's not that tough to get out of a canoe. Oh my gosh, it's a rock! <laughs> See you next time. Cut. <laughs>